All right, so now we're checking out the D-Win module. Dan, all yours. It's pretty self-explanatory, and we've all experienced this. Um, even just with our cell phones on a windy day, we get that huge, uh, it's the, 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 the wind, the air, you know, hitting the, the capsule of the microphone, and it's um, really aggressive, really in the low frequencies. Um, and of, again, with isotopes, um, machine learning, they, they, they're pumping in, you know, into uh, computer algorithms. This is wind, this is wind, this is voice, this is voice. So we can really go in and, and know what's, what's wind in this, this, um, this audio example and what is the voice. Let's uh, hit play and we'll hear the example. Um, I actually really love, so I grew up in New England, um, and it wasn't until I was like much older that I ever went out to the south. We skip ahead here, you can already see where the big wind is in the low frequencies, so especially this one here. On an alien planet, from the red rock structure. Right. The uh, remember that uh, the brightness is, is the level, the amplitude, so this is louder than, than our source, and it's really heavy on the low frequencies. So depending on your playback system, you may or may not fully hear this. If you're playing it back on laptop speakers, maybe you won't get the full effect of what we're doing, but you can definitely see uh, the visual results. And on full range speakers or, he or, or headphones, you'll, you'll definitely hear a difference. So um, just another thing I'd like to point out is right now we're, we're seeing the spectrogram um, in, in a certain view. It's, it's the weighting of the frequencies is in MEL. And you see that from zero to 100, uh, there's not a lot of space. Uh, and then up here, we see from just from you know, 15 to 20,000, there's more of, 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 of uh, separation in the frequency. So we, we're not seeing the low frequencies too well. Uh, so for some, when we want to isolate and work on the low frequencies, we can right click on the, um, the, the frequency scale and we can change it to, in this case, extended log. And now it's the same frequency range from zero to 20, but now we get a better degradation of the low frequencies. Mm -hmm. So um, we're looking at probably, see I'm hovering over the top of, of the wind blast. And if we look down at the bottom here, the bottom right, you see my cursor frequency and position moving. So we can hone in, we can see that the frequencies are definitely under 300, right? And we're around 275 maybe. So that'll help us. Um, so using the visual tools, of course with our ears is the most important, but using the visual tools of the spectrogram really helps us hone in uh, the tool. So let's open uh, the D-Wind, and it's a little flag here blowing in the wind. So we open the D-Wind, and another pretty simple self-explanatory uh, module, which is another good part of Isotope. It's really user-friendly. So we have the crossover frequency of where we want um, to, you know, the, the maximum frequency of the wind, so under this frequency is what we're going to be removing. Um, fundamental frequency could be good if the wind is blocking um, fundamental frequencies of speech. Um, this is uh, a woman, and it's mic'd at a good distance outside, so we're not getting a lot of the low, low frequencies, but if it was uh, maybe a man close mic'd, we might you know, be missing some of that, the lower frequencies. So we can go and recover that. And actually, you can see here these, these squiggly lines. This is the fundamental frequency of speech, and then we have the harmonics that go all the way up. So you can see that on the beginning of this word, it's a little blurred here, the, her... her or fundamental. So maybe we can use some of the recovery here. Actually, it's at a default setting of in between and in, in the middle. So it'll do it automatically. And this is another good example uh, of, of isotope settings just working pretty much on default. And you go and customize it for your audio. In our case, I, I was thinking around 275, something like that. Um, we can always preview and do it in real time as well. But we can't listen to the output only in this module. Um, so maybe what we can do is we can use the compare feature again. So if I just hit compare, it's going to load the, the settings into the compare window. And this is an easy way to audition between different settings really quickly. Um, so here we can preview now our original audio. Um, I actually really love, so I grew up in... All right, there's our wind. And after we've done the removal. And already you can see this, but yeah, it's, it's already cleared up. Um, so let's listen to that. Um, I actually really love, so I grew up in New England, um, and it wasn't until I was like... My it's pretty transparent. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So if we jump back to the original and listen to this, this really affected area here, let's preview that. An alien planet from the red rock structure. And after our pretty much default settings, right? Same area. 
from the red rock structures to the canyon. Now, of course, uh, you could, I, we could have EQ'd the lower frequencies out of it that we don't need and then do the D-wind and then the D-wind won't work as hard. Uh, sometimes when you push these, like I was saying earlier, if we push the process too much, it starts to uh, make the, the, the voice sound unnatural. And you always have this artifact smoothing in, in most of the modules where you can try and recover some of the natural voice. Uh, but also by applying good engineering techniques, just like low cut first and then apply the module, uh, really helps out. Amazing, crazy new feature. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, awesome. We're going to keep going with the next feature.